Welcome to this tutorial in which we're going to explain how the 2D vehicle controller pack works. First of all, if you go to scenes, you will see that you have three different scenes. The bike scene, the car scene, the tank scene. Let's start with the car scene. The car scene has the following components. It has a car that is rigged with wheel colliders, as you can see, and it can be moved by uh, using the keyboard and pressing A to go backwards, pressing S to brake and pressing D to go forward. Okay, now let's speak about the colliders and the different game objects you can find on the scene. First of all, um, the environment uses polygon colliders as you can see here for 2D dimension then you have the backgrounds which are just images in the back and then you have the car that is composed by different parts which are the, cha the chases the rear wheel and the front wheel each of the wheels have a wheel collider as you can see here in the chassis wheel collider joint that is going to join the wheel which is uh, using a circle collider and is going to join that with the chassis the bike scene is really similar to the one we have shown before if you go to the motorbike you have a chassis you have a rear wheel and a front wheel if you hit play you will be able to move your bike in space Nevertheless, it has a peculiarity, which is, if you go to the chassis, you will see it, uh, to the motorbike, sorry, you have the bike damper. The bike damper is drawing two line renderers. The line renderers are on the rear and the front wheel, and are the following game objects here. You can see here the line renderer, here and here. So in fact they are used to simulate the damper. Okay, the last scene is the tank scene. The tank scene has the peculiarity that is using a lot of wheels. As you can see here we have 10 wheels. How is this managed? If you go to the tank you have uh, vehicle movement which is the same script we have used for the car and for the bike but in this case we have a wheel joint uh, parameter here which can be uh, seen as an array of 10 components by uh, setting each of the different wheel joint to that uh, array we are able to have all the information in this script. Let's open the script to see how it works and what it does. First of all, you can see that uh, we have here the public variable will join 2D that is going to be the WH joint variable that is going to be an array. So as you can see in this part of the code for example we are uh, going through that array and setting the use motor equal to true so in fact what we are doing is in that part and in this part giving the speed to each of the wheels so by using an array it's really easy to add the same speed to different wheels the result is the following okay the last thing that is left to say is that we have another script that is called the tank chain the tank chain is going to draw to well a single line renderer that is attached to the chassis line renderer here that has as you can see 23 points so in fact is drawing a line that is going from the beginning this 
first part through all the wheels and to the last point so like that we have the effect of drawing a chain for the tank I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial I hope you consider downloading this package and supporting our work thanks very much for your time